Alva Bussanik, the F3 Derby, it uh, ended 1-1. What is your thought of the game? Uh, yeah, it was um, you know it was a very tough game. Always uh, when you play uh, against Newcastle in the F3 derby, it's always going to be tough. So um, you know we just took the positives out of the game that we uh, got the point that we think we deserved, and we should have gone on further to, to win it. So you know uh, it was a tough game, but we uh, come over the point. You had a series of unfortunate events in the first half. First of all, uh, the goal. What happened there? Um, the goal. Yeah, it was just. Uh, from the corner, uh, you know, uh, we, we stuffed up and then uh, they, they scored, so not much to it really. We had a lot of possession at that stage and, uh, you know, it, um, it didn't help us. And then the, the missed penalty, and what, what, what did you talk about in the half? Uh... Um, you know, we just uh, changed uh, the way we were playing a little bit um, and uh, come out in the second half and, uh, you know, we, we held our structure and uh, we done well at stages in the second half, so, you know, I think um, we we're very unlucky not to, to go on to win it. And you equalised in the second half. Uh, did you feel like you had the game in your hands then? Uh, yeah, yeah. We, you know, after that we started to dominate a lot more as well. So um, yeah, I thought we did. Was it more like? Uh, do you feel like you have lost two points or won one point? Um, with an F3 derby, you know, you take every point that you get. So it's always, you know, uh, it always feels like. Uh, at the same at the same time, you know, you, it feels like a loss, but at the same time, we gained a point, so you know, we have to take the positives out of it and uh, you know, be happy with the result. Patrick Svansvig, um, one-one draw against uh, Newcastle. Your thoughts of the game? Uh, the first 30 minutes were really sloppy from our side. We didn't control the game. We couldn't get a passing game going on. Um, last 50 minutes of the first half, we uh, created more space. We changed the system into 4-3-3. And uh, we created a bit more space on our right side, and um, yeah, we got one nil behind because of a mistake from ourselves. So that was unlucky, missed the penalty. So that was like yeah, it was overall it was a bad first half. Second half we came out really well, played really well, deserved an equalizer and that came a bit after uh, from, uh, from a corner. And after the one-one, the game was a bit open. Uh, we controlled it in the beginning and created chances, and then later on we get, I think we got to. Um, too, uh, too tired and uh, we made a lot of mistakes in possession and uh, have to chase the ball again and so it was a pretty open game but we didn't concede a lot of chances so we controlled it at the back and um, well we were unlucky we couldn't score a second goal. Do you feel like it was two lost points instead of 1-1? Uh, one, one? Yeah, I feel like it's two lost points because um, yeah, in the second half we showed we were the better side and uh, we should have taken advantage up there. Yeah, they were tired as well, and they didn't. They leave. They let the uh, gaps really wide open, where for us to play in. And but as I say, we lost the ball too easy in the second half at times, and uh, we didn't um, create uh, create more chances where we should have, and we didn't kill off the chances that we got. And um, so in the end, it's yes, two last points. Uh, can you tell me, describe your goal? Um, uh, yeah, it was a corner ball. Um, Ollie came. To, he, he was going to take the corner and we had an agreement to stack the six yard box uh, to make it more difficult for uh, for the goal uh, for the goalie and for uh, Topper Stanley and the other tall guys and I was marked by Thiago and uh, I just waited outside the six yard box as soon as you went I just made a run into the six yard box and in front of all the players and uh, jumped higher than the others and uh, headed in in the, in the first corner in the first post and uh, so it was a good corner, it was a good goal, and it was a good equaliser at that point. At that point. Despite the draw, you uh, now have uh, a new club record of uh, 13 games yeah. undefeated. How important is that to the rest of the season for you? Um, well, that's important. So it's, uh, you always want to achieve something uh, every year, and um, by winning the league or by uh, uh, winning the Champions League or like um, qualifying for Champions League, uh, that will be the last year. This year is a new goal, trying to uh, be the premiers uh, because we're on top and we're playing really well, and uh, we're undefeated for 13 games, so we want to be the premiers. But it's not easy. Everybody's kind of come out and uh, fight harder against us. Um, and um, yeah, and, and you want to be as unbeaten as long as possible. And um, and by by making a new record in the in the, in the Central Coast Mariners history, by the longest unbeaten uh, unbeaten run, that's uh, that's good for us. It's good for the club. It's good for the supporters. If they come out here and. Uh, want to see us win or uh, at least not lose and, uh, and that's what we give them so it's, it's, uh, it's, it's really a good thing for the Central Coast Mariners and for Gosford and, uh, and all, the, all the suburbs around.